Hey everyone, so today we're going to try to build an optimal portfolio using modern portfolio theory, also known as mean variance analysis or mean variance optimization. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to be pulling our data from Quando. Specifically, the name of our data set we're going to be using is called Sheridar Equity Prices. So you can just create an account with Quando and you can get access to this database. So first things first, we're going to need to import Quando. And we're going to need to specify an API key. So we can say quando.api config.api key. And I'm just going to paste in my API key here. We're going to just need two libraries, import numpy as np, and we're going to import pandas as pd. So we'll run that. Now, Quando has a get table function that outputs a pandas data frame. So we're going to call that data frame prices. I'm going to call the get table function. And this get table function takes in a few arguments. It takes in the name of our database. So it's ours is called Sheridar slash SEP for equity prices. It also takes in, takes in a ticker argument. And we're going to look at several tickers today. We're going to look at Apple. We're going to look at Coca-Cola, Nike. We'll also take a look at Tesla. And finally, let's take a look at ExxonMobil. This function also takes in a date range argument, and the date range we're going to be looking at is the 2017 to 2018 time period. So we can say GTE for greater than or equal to, and that will be greater than or equal to 2017, January 1st. And less than or equal to LTE, 2018, December 31st. Finally, this argument or this function takes in a paginate equals true argument. And the reason why we need to specify this is because Quando only outputs about 10,000 rows of data if you do not. So let's run this. And this should output a data frame called, that we've called prices. And we'll output the first five rows of data here. And there we go. We have our prices data frame. And you can see that we have several data points here. We have date, open, high, low, close, and volume. But we're actually only interested in closing prices today, and we'd like our tickers to be the columns and the date to be our index. So to do that, we need to pivot our data. So we're going to create a new data frame called pivoted. And we'll take our original data frame prices and call the dot pivot function. So say this, and we're just going to say index is equal to date. Columns will be equal to the tickers. And finally, values that we're interested in will be the closing prices. So we'll see what that looks like here. And there we go. We've pulled our data. We have our columns, the tickers as our columns, the date as our index, and the closing prices as our values. Finally, if we wanted to apply a percentage change function, instead of looking at daily prices, maybe we want to look at daily returns. We can easily do that. So we can take our, our original our data frame called pivoted, and we're just going to apply the dot percent change function on top of that. So we'll run that. And there we go. We have the daily percentage returns on our tickers. So if you like this video, please subscribe. In our next videos, we're going to look at variance, standard deviation, correlation, all very important in learning how to calculate an optimal portfolio. And if you want to check out our web app, please check out myfinquest.com where we build out all these modules in the back end. So till next time.